Hello, how are you? Good day. And uh, today I will be presenting to you the difference between a distance from a displacement. Alright, so distance uh, simply means the total path, okay, or the total length of uh, the path of a moving object. Okay, as an example, we have a path of a moving object from A to B. This path is called the distance. While the straight line of that, the difference between the initial line from A to B is called the displacement. So it is a straight line. Another example will be series of different distances. So A to B, B to C, and C to D. So these are the distances. Now, the straight line again, or the difference between the initial position and the final position is again called the displacement. So we will relate distance and displacement to speed and velocity. The formula for speed is given by S, which is speed is equal to D, which is distance, over T, which is the time. While the formula for velocity is given by V, which is the velocity, S, which is the displacement, not distance, over time. Okay. So we will be making use of an example. A runner jogs in an oval that is 400 meters long. That is in two minutes. So the question, what is the jogger's speed? And B, what is the jogger's velocity? Okay, now an oval has a standard size of 400 meters long. So this is the path made by the jogger. So here are the different sections of an oval. The first one is 100, the other one is 100. So all of the sections there are of equal length, 100 meters each. So for our solution, we will be solving for letter A. The given values are the following. We have the distance, that is a total of 400 meters, the time in two minutes. So we will be converting two minutes into seconds. So we will be looking for letter A, the speed. All right, the formula for speed is again, distance over time. Now, speed is equal to the distance which is 400 meters and the time is two minutes. We will convert minutes into seconds. Remember that in every minute, there are 60 seconds. So now we can cancel out the minute, unit. So we have 400 meters in 120 seconds. Therefore, the speed will be equal to 3.33 meters per second. Now in solving for letter B, the velocity, Okay, so the given will be the displacement. Is there a displacement when the runner jogs 400 meters? That is just from the original position back to its original position. Therefore, there is no displacement. So if there is no displacement, there is zero meter displacement. So the time is still the same, 120 seconds. The formula is given by a velocity is equal to distance over time or displacement over time and remember there is no displacement so we are now both solving the two problems now here is another example uh, a dog walks on the following paths okay so path a b c and path d so we are going to illustrate that path 
the, this is the different uh, sections of the path of the dog so from A to B, B to C and C to D all right so we will be solving for the dog's uh, speed and again the dog's velocity all right so we will be solving for A the given we have the total distances for the total distance will be from A to B, that is 2 meters. B to C, another 2 meters. And C to D, another 2 meters. Okay? But, we forgot to write the time. So, for example, if the dog takes about 1 minute to reach from A to D, so, the time will be 1 minute. So, again, we will convert minute into second. Right? So, one minute is just simply equal to 60 seconds okay therefore uh, the formula for speed is distance over time now we have six meters over 60 seconds and that will be just simply equal to 0 0.1 meter per second now for the given for solving letter b the dog's velocity so this is the displacement or the difference between the initial position and the final position for example if that is equivalent to 2.5 meters now what will be the velocity of the dog so time is still 60 seconds velocity formula is displacement over time therefore displacement is 2.5 in every 60 seconds here in the calculator, that will result to 0.04 meter per second. Okay, so we are able to solve B and A. Thanks for watching.